Alright, welcome to another game of Tiberian Sun, brought to you by Tiberian Sun Adventures, and I'll be casting today in Sect X. We've got the rematch, game two, rematch, Top Rush versus Tiger, they've elected to swap sides. Tiger having a little brag there about how ludicrously rich he was, he probably noticed that if you watched the first game, he was very rich, and so they've decided to swap positions. So now we're going to have Tiger in top left and Top Rush in bottom right, so top but bottom. Got a few spectators here. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's see what this pans out. I wonder if it's going to go long again. Generally, I feel, from my personal experience at least, is I feel like it is a lot easier to go long from um, bottom right. I think I feel like top left is uh, it's a very hard position to play. I think you're at a disadvantage because of this kind of early expansion necessity, and then the difficulties of exp of getting to middle it's just like so much further it's so much more natural for bottom right to, to build to build this way into a uh, into the middle and 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 to claim it and you, i guess you have to use the advantages and disadvantages of each spot and one of the advantages of top left is very hard to be scouted um and you kind of have like a quite a snug base you can you can keep your base quite snug um if you're bottom right you know your your, your refineries and might end up down here or across where you got you kind of usually have a war factory in this area uh and you know you, you just you, same with bottom left the bottom left is the most exposed it has the most money but it is the most spread base and the easiest to scout so how can you use those to your advantage you have to kind of figure out and game figure out on your opponent got a little bit of a change of build order here by top rush he's gone for an early jj just to scout top left so kind of aligns with what I was just saying there about you know one of the advantages of top left is hard to get scouted especially earlier on so getting an early JJ out is a really good way to to solve that problem and he's he's you know he's going for an economy build anyway building refineries he's just got that early radar the other advantage of having an early radar is you will be able to anti-scout quite well but hasn't sent out many men at all in fact he's only got a handful of men here probably like 10 minigunners 12 minigunners 15 uh, so saving some money there and not a lot of uh, men either so we're not going to see a man rush I don't think from each from either side in fact there's not many scouts that have gone that far around the map there's one one guy here by Tiger now he's fully scouted by the JJ there's nothing you can do about it he's just building up refs he is going to get a comp I mean, a, he has to build a component tower and a radar now just because he can't have this JJ smashing away at his power plant for the next 10 minutes while he gets his war factory and whatever in involved and uh top rush is going through a lot more men now he's got no refinery and then another refinery so he's got an economy and men he's going to do some maybe a delayed man rush uh, maybe it's just to deal with oh yeah there's a bunch of green men coming but it's not really that many so you know you can he's, i think top rush already has more men here tiger has sneaked in a scout uh <laughs> i don't think they can see each other's screens maybe they're sitting back to back and i imagine that one of the advantages that top rush wants to keep here is keeping his base dark you know so so it's such a nuisance to play in the dark when you don't know what your, your opponent's doing you don't know where his men are you don't know you know if he's he's built a jj it could be one ref disruptor rush in here um but he's got a lot of men so you know you'd probably think not Oh, there's a bunch of his split up, Tiger split up his army, half of them are not being watched. Okay, they just about got there in time, so well played there. Top Rush is also splitting up his army to deal with this. I think he will get scouted. This might just end up being a scouting party uh, once he sees, you know, he's got quite a lot of men to deal with. He's got his own JJ out. So we have a sand building or a refinery, so this JJ is going to reveal all. And Tiger's going for economy. He's got Harvester pumping out there, refinery pumping out there. He's already starting towards his uh, expansion so they're both going for like the solid long game no titans yet another refinery how many harvesters three four five six harvesters and another refinery is going to be on four or three and seven in a, in a moment there it is and um, now he's just gonna build a power plant it's good he's gonna put it back to max power he knows he's scouted getting the heli pad so he's working towards some sort of attack and looks like that tiger is going along as well and he's built another refinery he's getting another harvester he's got a couple of times but now he's scouted top rush he knows he doesn't have to 
you know, rush to the defense of like Sam's and, and, and stuff. And he's building yet another. Oh no, it's the same. Others are still building. Now he's going for the Titans just for a bit of defense. Men are going out from top rush. This makes sense. There's not much purpose keeping him in his base. And he can definitely cause a little bit of harassment or at least something for Tiger to think about. Tiger's going for the tech. Um, wonder if that's going to be a tech for a disruptor or most likely an MK. And I expect it's just going to be like MK versus MK counter. Oh, and he's. Top Rush taking advantage of this opportunity that he knows that uh, Tiger has gone for early expansion and doesn't have many defences and he's pumping out Disruptor. Probably going to see two Disruptors come out. It's going to be most effective as two. One Bomber there probably just to try and take down this Sam. Maybe he could take down the Helipad. Bomber coming out from Tiger as well. They've both got a decent economy. Something you see amongst the top players for sure is that they manage their economy really well. They manage their economy well, and they and they uh, when they attack, they they like combine it. You know, it's not just going to be uh, one disruptor by itself. It's going to be three things that Tiger's got to deal with here. He's going to have to deal with a bunch of men, a bomber, and a couple of disruptors from different directions. And this disruptor is just looking for a best position. Probably wants to try and take these two expansion refs. There's just two disruptors now coming out of Tiger. So interesting times. Oh, a disruptor here would be pretty killer. Can he bomb these engineers? Can he bomb these engineers? We want one disruptor here, one disruptor here. See if he can wipe out three or four refs. This disruptor, okay. Pretty ineffective. I don't think he's going to do it, but he might be able to take out these two refs. Didn't quite time his disruptor usually very well, but going to have to deal with his own disruptor. That's probably why. Just take down one ref. Can he get a second ref? Can he get a second ref? Not quite. So a bit of a shame that he wasn't able to quite coordinate his disruptors there to take more than uh take more than one ref. And now Tiger gets to use his disruptor. He's just looks like he's not actually going to use it. I think he's gonna just keep it there as a threat to prevent um top rush from being able to do much. But he's gotta be careful, he's gonna get bombed. Oh that's so dreamy. So dreamy with Top Rush. Take good advantage of that opportunity there. And just to, you know, economy wise, it's, it's really, uh, well, just to feel shame for Tiger. Really. It's a big setback that he has to, doesn't have that threat anymore. Even just to put it here and destroy this service would have been a, a lot nicer. Or maybe even could have had a little start at the MCV. But now Tiger gets, now Top Rush gets his um, MK out. And Tiger is struggling a little bit here. He does have a lot of money. He's building his own MK to count the MK. So I'm going to try and sneak a disruptor around the back here. Not a lot of openings here, just for one disruptor on his own. And all oh, more of a disruptor game this one. So I like disruptors. My favourite. I like to mess up with disruptors. Let's see what this MK does. Just looking for an opening at the back. Can he take down this? Sam's got a lot of Sam's to deal with. Going to take down these back reps. But they are money refs. Um, but like, send them is not. Oh boy, MK's going down. Not great use of the MK there. Just mm, too many Sams to deal with. Wasn't able to pick up first time. He's got another uh, disruptor coming in there. Go to the expansion. But there's a lot of Sams. That's the only problem. But even just landing here. Probably wants to land about here. Will it get down? Oh, these refs are done. These refs are done. So this disruptor's going to be the magic one but he does have to deal with an MK and he's basically MK and a disruptor could be a wipeout kill here he's going for the he's going to save his he's going to save his uh war factory so that's fine so interesting dynamic here we've got tiger who's just lost all his money um just working on one ref him to build another ref and then top rush who's got all the money but doesn't have his mcv so he can't build so i'd probably favor uh the money you know, you just get so much more options with money. He's going to get his MCV out. He does have uh, an MK to work with here in the carrier. And he can just mass bombers in the meantime. Maybe get another couple of engineers just to secure his base. But it's very hard. Now, uh, Tiger's on the back foot. But he knows that one disruptor could just destroy the whole base here. Oh, he's going to get out. He's going to ship that disruptor right down there as soon as possible. He needs to get a few engineers. He's going to keep his bomber for defense. Gagging for this MCV to get out as soon as possible. Is he going to use his MK for defense? No, he gets the MCV out. So there is going to be a lot of damage done here by this disruptor bit. He does have a MCV 
and he's starting to build tires and he's got engineers so it's not gonna it's gonna be too little too late I think get that engineer in save it get another engineer in and save it ah oh, bit unfortunate there he actually bombed himself but still in good shape he's in really good shape now really because he's got this economy advantage would have liked to get the war factory but he's been able to uh, use this attack well where he's got the MK causing hassle on the harvesters top right and then he's got the Thailand's coming in the front which is just delaying this army from being able to deal with the MK and the MK is just a little walk in the park here picking up harvesters picking up refineries these times they're not even they don't even want to encounter them their main purpose is just to distract the the bulk of the army away from while the MK does the damage and in the meantime I expect he's rebuilding his base so the Titans have encountered here they're just still going to run away because they know they're not going to win this fight they just just to deter these Titans MK is doing the real damage here working expansion is going to pick off going to treat himself I think to a few harvesters just drop down here take another few harvesters this harvester's weak in the meantime he's got lots of money he's got his war factory buck up he's got a lot of harvesters he's starting to build some a little army of bombers you can just send up those well it's four sams actually four sams is pretty annoying to do with two bombers because you'll get one shot down by the time ah tiger is uh trying to recoup but he's running out of tiberian up here he lost a few harvesters his army is relatively small and can't really go across the map because of these bombers who are just going to bomb it he's got four titans that he's going to pick off here but he's still always having to deal with this m constant threat of the mk doesn't have enough money to build his MK, which is what he really would like to have right now, just to counter Top Rush's MK. And in the meantime, Top Rush just securing a really nice expansion here. Fantastic economy. He's rich. He's at the 20k mark now. He needs to get this MK repair in. Wonder what he's going to build. He's not building any units, which is strange because he's super rich. Like when you're so rich, just want to mass. Just want to mass. But I guess he's busy dealing with. Um, Dealing with his MK and dealing with uh, you know Tiger Space and Tiger snoops out of disruptor. I like this idea. He's countering. He sees that that uh, Top Rush hasn't actually built any defenses in this time, and he's going to just try and slow him down a bit of a disruptor. Just maybe take out a couple of refs. Could even have a cheeky stab at the MCV. I don't think there's much chance that he does have to worry about his MK. The MK. So maybe he's just going to land it somewhere like here. One shot this ref, try and, you know, get one shot off this ref, one shot on this ref, I have to see where it lands. It's coming down, he's going to a bit of a weird position, I'm not sure about that position. And, uh, okay, is he going to get, oh no, and the other, so, a bit of a strange coordination there. I think he should have landed one here, and one, he two disruptors could do a lot more damage at the same time than one disruptor, so... Mm, not very good coordination with Disruptor, he's still flying around just to fret. The good news about having this Disruptor just flying around as a fret is it just delays the MK from up, eating up his harvesters and it gives him some space which is taken advantage of to, to build. It's very hard to manage all his things the other time and also he's got his own MK out. Has he sent an army or has he just lost his army? His army is just a handful of Titans guarding the expansion. Uh, Top Rush is very rich now. Just pumping out refineries. I think he couple of Sams on this expansion and then just get straight to the middle. Okay, it's got an MK and Disruptor. I don't think he's intended to keep these. He just wants to oh destroy all three refs. A great attack there. He's going to lose the lot, but he did take down three refs there, and some of those were full of money. But now the economy is uh, favouring Top Rush. And I don't think there's much Tiger can do about this. He's going to have to do really good work with this MK. He needs to get these bombers straight away onto these Titans. And he... Oh boy. He's just... This MK has got a free ride at the moment. How close is his MK? It's pretty crucial. He needs to counter uh, Top Rush's MK. who's just walking through the base right now. Picking off these Sams. He's going to pick off a few of these Titans. Um, and by the time... You know, he's kind of dealt with this MK, the army's going to arrive. And that's a lot of Titans to deal with. And there's a few bombers here he could use as well. He could send those up. Uh, he's still very rich. So, not building any buildings, just building Titans. Sending the Titans up to top left. Tiger does have his own MK. So, it's going to help him defend. But he's certainly losing the macro game. A lot of Titans here to deal with. 
too many probably. Um, I can't see him holding out here. Just doesn't have the resources. Doesn't have the resources. Doesn't have any money. Doesn't have any army. Just got the MK. It is a strong MK, and he's decided to send it out on offense, uh, or maybe just try and really quickly pick off this refinery. Does force stop rushes MK back himself, but he's probably going to lose the MK for this. What? No, he survives, but not a lot he can do with a little with a low health carry all and low health MK versus top rushes Titans and top rushes own MK. So he's going to have to really uh, squirm up his base here. Oh, lift that up. Oof. Okay. Just get, you could probably just get these titans in right now. But I think he's going to choke him. He looks like he's trying to choke him. He can send another wave of titans right now. He could just send another wave of six or seven titans. I can't see how Tiger is going to deal with this. He's got the same problems for MK causing damage at the top. This time, Top Rush has more titans, so he's just decided to send him in. and He's walking through the base, and there's no defense against these Titans, he's going to have another wave, he's going to have some bombers coming as well, he might even be just build a disruptor. And great game, great game but just very hard to deal with playing from top left. And this MK, is it a star yet? Who knows, he's just eating up the base. Nom nom nom, nom nom, good game. Oh, thanks for watching. Close game. Close game.